Tubers, quick intro. The audio is off sync on this video. I recorded this twice because the enemy hates me talking about this. So please pay attention to this video. YouTubers, this one is going to be especially for the parents. If you got kids in the house, please listen to what I'm saying. Um, recently, Miley Bieber been getting in trouble. Okay. Uh, the most recent thing is that Bieber was racing his Lamborghini and dude got a DUI. Now, <laughs> I was looking on Twitter the other day and the thing that was trending said, Deport Bieber. And I almost made a Facebook status because I agreed with it. <laughs> oh man, we need to deport this junk out of our culture. Because what's going on? is that the New World Order, the Illuminati, they take these young kids, right? They take young Miley, they take young Bieber, young Britney Spears, young Justin Timberlake, young everybody that's in the Disney Club, you know? They take all these kids, Selena Gomez, they take all these little innocent kids, or they, they start out innocent, right? And they're role models to your children. They're all over the radio, everybody's got... Bieber this and Bieber that and Britney Spears and, you know, all this stuff, right? This has been a consistent pattern. Christina Aguilera. They do this again and again and again. They raise your kids up listening to this stuff where these kids, they're, they're innocent kind of role models. And then when they hit, you know, 18 or somewhere around there, these people go berserk, right? And they become these New World Order heathen where they're doing drugs, getting slutty, uh, doing all kinds of trash, right? You know, look at Miley Cyrus. She started out being a, you know, role model for kids. Now, she's a whore. <laughs> People are going to get offended that I said that, but, you know, look at how the girl is... <laughs> Come on. So... <clears throat> You know, I, I don't, uh, look, look at this video. This video is, uh, Justin Bieber at his recent, um, court appearance for this DUI. Look at his eyes. Dude is demon possessed. You know, and this is the stuff that people are letting their children soak in, right? Sorry, I got a cat hair. Cat was sneak attacking me. But, you know, something that I've seen, I, I hardly ever watch TV. But, you know, I've gone to a close friend's house, and he's got young girls, and, you know, I've had a hard time saying this to him. You know, I've tried, but everything on those children channels... Uh, Nickelodeon, Disney, all of it, all of it, all of it seems to be witchcraft. All of it is related to magic, um, you know, spells. Uh, I mean, it's just endless. Harry Potter is just witchcraft, 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 right? Now, the Bible says in Matthew 18.6, you know, Jesus was saying, you know, starting in 4, he says, uh, Therefore, whosoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives me. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. That's from Jesus. Those are harsh words. Harsh. So, if you are a parent, and you are just letting your kid fill his head, her head, with witchcraft all day long, you are setting your child up for failure. You're setting yourself up for failure. If I had children, there's no way on earth they'd be watching that witchcraft on TV. They wouldn't be watching those witchcraft movies. You know, and just filling their head with it because what the devil does is he puts that stuff in front of you all day long to make you think that it's harmless and normal. 
But if you look at people that have involved themselves in witchcraft, or maybe you're you're one that has done this in your own past, you know, that invites sickness, migraines, troubles, death, torment, depression, and all kinds of other stuff. You know, and it's serious stuff because witchcraft, there's only two sources of power. There's the Holy Spirit, you know, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead. And then there's the devil. There's no in-between. There's no clean magic, white magic. It's either Jesus or the devil. So if you've done any occult, or if you're letting your kids, you know, soak in all this witchcraft stuff, you're just taking all the devil's candy and just eating it up. Um, you know, some more serious words. Galatians 5, starting in 19, says, Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousy, outbursts. Uh, sorcery is the one that I'm focusing on. Now, I was looking at this earlier. In Revelation, uh, let me look this up briefly. In Revelation 9, 21, this is talking about the um, trumpet judgments. And the Bible says, Revelation 9, 21, And they did not repent of their murders, of their sorceries, or their sexual immorality, or their thefts. You know, these are things that, obviously, are reasons for judgment. You know, because the judgments had come, and these are the things that people chose not to um, turn away from. When you go back to the Greek, the word sorceries is the word pharmakia, which means medication, pharmacy, um, magic, sorcery, and witchcraft. So... Judgment is definitely related to sorceries, you know, and even our pharmaceutical stuff where anything that alters your mental state, anything that's a psychotropic drug, that's a bondage from the enemy. You notice this this stuff doesn't heal anything. It just creates another symptom for you to get another problem for them to prescribe another symptom. You know, I saw a thing where uh, it was a picture on Facebook or something that said that you know, these pharmaceutical companies don't heal anybody. They just create, uh, they don't, I forgot how it was said. They create customers, not cures. Okay? They're making mountains of money off of phar pharmaceuticals that never heal anything. But Jesus heals. So, this is serious stuff. If you're a parent, cut this witchcraft stuff. You know? Video games are just as bad. Witchcraft is from the devil, and it's not entertainment. If you think that it's just entertainment, then you are not following the Word of God, because the Word of God makes clear that what you sow into your, your flesh, it says, if you sow to the flesh, you reap corruption. You know? So if you're sowing witchcraft and all this stuff in your flesh, you're going to reap that corruption, and corruption is... You know, decay, it's sickness, it's disease, it's torment, it's depression. Tubers, I'm telling you, man, exposing the devil on this witchcraft stuff, this video has gone totally just haywire. Um, but I want to tell you that I've taken a harsh stance against witchcraft in my life. Anything that has witchcraft, video games, music, movies, anything, I don't even look at it as possible entertainment. Witchcraft is an invitation to the devil, and you will bring all kinds of stuff into your life, and you need to get it out of your life. So, um, I've got a video that deals with a lot of these spiritual issues. When you invite these things into your life, it invites those spirits, you know. That's why so much sickness and confusion and mental illness and all these things come into people's lives. Because of messing around with witchcraft and false religion and that kind of stuff. So the video that I'm going to post after this, if this is something that you've done in your past, uh, I highly encourage you to watch this video. But it's not just for witchcraft, it's for anything that has brought torment and bondage into your life. So um, 
You know, I'm not saying all this stuff to condemn you. I'm saying this because I want to get you free. Because the devil's come to kill, steal, and destroy, and all he wants to do is just destroy your life, destroy your health, destroy your mental uh, clarity and your peace. So get free from this stuff. Because it's just, it's a trap. I'm telling you, it's a trap. So, Jesus is Lord. He's coming back soon. Make sure you repent and get this stuff out of your life. All right, the first case uh, this afternoon is uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following. DUI, alcohol, or drugs. 